Hey, good morning. It's Tuesday. I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona. I'm standing here so you can see all my impressive credentials. Oh, I am so impressive. Uh, no, uh, honestly, uh, those certificates behind me represent not just me, but a whole lot of very dear, sweet people who uh, tried to teach me some things. It also represents uh, a myriad of folks who helped support me while I was in those schools, getting those credentials. Okay. And it's the professional thing to do to put those certificates um, on your wall as a credential for people who see me here, something like that. It works with doctors, with dentists, therapists, on down the line. Jesus, in our schedule of readings today, during this Holy Week, there's this curious scene in Mark chapter 11, where the authorities ask Jesus for his credentials. Can we see your credentials? Why you're doing these things? Why you are somehow acting as if you have all the authority of God? What's going on, Jesus? Can we see your degree, your license? Where did you go to school? And Jesus knows they're playing games. He asks them first another question about John and his baptizing ministry. Was that authorized by humans or was that a heavenly thing? And they don't know how to answer because if it was a heavenly thing, well, then why weren't they down there being baptized? If it was a merely human thing, then a whole lot of people who renewed their life in John's ministry would be upset with them, they're stuck. They say, I don't know. There are people who wonder about Jesus' credentials today, but they might find themselves in their own stuck situation. I don't know. And so we keep putting off the question of, well, who is Jesus for you? Hmm. Will you be willing to quit your game playing? Be honest in your inquiry and start reading the Gospel of John, the Gospel of Matthew, to at least begin inquiry about this Jesus, one of the most authenticated, well-recorded figures in human history. It's Holy Week. Isn't it a beautiful time to be asking spiritual questions? Who is Jesus? What were the things he did? What did he say? And how is he viewed by so many in this world today who say they know him, have pledged their lives to him? You'll notice with my credentials that I've placed the cross of Christ above them all. Beyond any human achievement, Jesus, my Savior, he is my credential. I've entrusted my life to him. I keep stumbling and I keep messing up, but he gives me grace. He renews my walk. He renews me. And he's continually teaching me in his school about the work of Christ's mission and love with others in this world that I get to meet. Jesus is my top credential because one day I'll get my degree. I'll be promoted to glory. And I will be alive because of Jesus in his new restoration of lasting peace. Yeah, that's a pretty good credential. Will you take a step of faith today to at least read, think, ask questions? Jesus has his credentials. Just ask someone who knows him. May the Lord bless you today.